The minority in Parliament is continuing its onslaught on the Electoral Commission and its proposed constitutional instrument which makes the Ghana card the sole identity document to register as a voter. For hours yesterday, EC Chairperson the NIA Executive Secretary briefed MPs on this controversial matter, but the NDC do not seem satisfied with the answers provided. Minority Leader Dr. Atto Folsom says the EC must listen to wise counsel and stop its tract. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Identification Authority, which is responsible for the issuance of Ghana Card, has admitted publicly that there is a backlog of millions of Ghanaians who are yet to be issued with Ghana Card. The NIA has admitted that about 3.5 million cards have been locked up in a bonded warehouse due to indebtedness owned by the NIA to its private partner. And the indebtedness is 1.5 billion Ghana cities, equivalent of 117 million US dollars. Again, speaking on news far on Tuesday, on, on, on Saturday, 25th of February 2023, the executive director of the NIA, Professor Kenneth Ajeman Atefa, said, and I quote, Since about August of last year, we have experienced financial constraints. In the system and it created a situation where even even though we have 3.5 million stock of cards in a bonded warehouse we are unable to assess the cards because of the financial difficulty unquote he proceeded by saying that currently about 2.5 million cards are yet to be printed ladies and gentlemen these are the words of the National Identification Authority and not the minority. It is also a fact that the registration process for the Ghana card has been characterized by several difficulties, including logistical constraints. The National Identification Authority has further admitted that the issuance of Ghana card is continuing process and therefore cannot be completed at any point in time. Therefore, making the Ghana card the sole requirement for voter registration cannot be accepted it would deny millions of Ghanaians their right to register and vote. According to Dr. Atofos, recent happenings show that the Electoral Commission may be plotting to rig the next elections for the NPP. He says a recent national security strategy document should guide the EC to tarry slowly before it plunges the country into violence. As noted, the national security strategy one of the main risks, as noted by the National Security Strategy, that one of the main risks of Ghana's peace and security is mistrust in the electoral processes, the suspicion of collusion by the ruling party and the electoral commission to rig the election for the ruling party continues to drive the situation towards dispute and potential violence. The above admonition is coming from the national security in the light of the, of, of the clear and present danger of the Electoral Commission continues to pose to the peace and stability of Ghana through actions, through its actions, such that this proposed CI needs to be stopped. Parliamentary Affairs Correspondent Kweku Asante joins us on phone with details. Kweku, the minority has been announcing some non-negotiables. Run us through that. So they first say that the Electoral Commission must bring back the guarantor system where persons who are already registered as voters can any and guarantee that a person is a citizen or is of age for them to register. They are also saying that usage of the Ghana card as a sole identity document is not something that you count on. And then finally, the third non-negotiable is for the EC to move the registration center to the polling station. We know that per this year, the limited registration exercise that will be conducted will be conducted at the district offices of the Electoral Commission. The minority say there are large districts where it will be difficult for people to leave certain villages and local areas and go to these district offices. For this reason, the Electoral Commission must decentralize the process. So these are the three non-negotiables that the minority say if it is not inculcated, if it is not put in the new CI, they will not support this lane and eventual party. 
Now, what's the next line of action if the EC does not heed to their call and proceed to lay the CI? Did they tell so, you? Yeah, the NDC have been announcing the minority because a number of things that they'll be doing. For instance, they're announcing that they're going to go to the public forum together with this other party, the NDC, to make a lot of noise about this. We know that following yesterday's committee of the whole meeting, there will be a report that will be put before Parliament to be debated, will be voted on. It is not clear cut if constitutionally Parliament can seek to stop this constitutional body from seeking to lay its constitutional instruments in Parliament. There are those, especially on the majority that who have contended that the EC being an independent body can proceed and do so. The Speaker of Parliament has said that if some of these issues are not clearly ironed out and EC himself is not built properly, he will not allow the CI to be laid. There are those who have said that if the Speaker of Parliament continues with that position and someone goes to the Supreme Court, that position will be struck out as unconstitutional. So that will be the next step. But we know that from next week, already majority side are saying that there is no time. They want the CI to be laid as soon as possible. Gwagwa Sante is our parliamentary affairs correspondent. Definitely will bring you more from Parliament in our subsequent bulletins. Now, Price.